Make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that like button. We gonna get right into this. No games right now. Let's get into this. Uh, DJ MV took shots at Kevin Samuels. Tried to expose him. Call him out on the radio. Go in on him randomly. Um, let's listen to what DJ MV has to say. Hello, who's this? Hi, this is Karen. I'm from Ohio. Oh boy, Karen. Another Karen on the line. Oh, I'm not one of them kind. I'm just messing with you, Karen. Go ahead. Who you want to give donkey to? <laughs> I want to give my donkey to Kevin Samuel. Can I tell you why? Woo! Sure, go yes. Ahead. I think that he openly degrades black women and he preys on their insecurities that have been given to them in previous relationships yeah. and their naiveness. And come on, he gave Sweetie a stick. Dr. Omar spoke on him on all that. He deserves donkey of the day. Yeah, I, I think he's lame. I, I I do think he's lame. I mean, at what age are we where we're rating women and rating people? I mean, he's a grown ass man. He's fifty years old. Oh. But the thing I don't understand and who are is you? that's the thing. But the thing is, which hey, I don't understand is why why do women keep going to him? what? Like that's what I don't understand. Like I said, he plays on their insecurities that he, they've been given in previous relationships and their naiveness. Yeah, because he, he looks yeah. about. It seems like it seems like he hates women. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, it does. I mean, he used to hang around the Hermes store and try to get clientele. It's, you know, just to try to get people. And he used to wear, you know, dress up and stand outside the stores and try to talk to people. I seen him actually a couple of times. It's funny. Um, but in Atlanta, but I mean, I don't know why women still still hey, go Back on. up, yeah. back up. He said, "Hang out outside the Hermes." Yeah, store he used to, to try to hang outside the stores to try to get businesses. So he would hang outside the Hermes store and look for, you know, uh, I guess people with a little bit of money and try to talk to him and try to be a stylist or whatever he was trying to do. I see him out there once or twice. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. That's weird. My salesperson from the Hermes store had to remind me, like, you don't remember him? He was the one that was outside the store. I'm like, that was him. Yeah, but he's lame. I, I don't I don't respect the fact that he sits there and rates women. Oh, this one's a two and this one's a four. And yeah. Ma, you look ugly. Yeah. Ma, you're fat. Yeah. Like, it's just, it's, 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 a woman must have hurt him. I, I don't know. Like if you don't get that bullshit out of my face, bitch. The representation of his show, the way he's misrepresenting what his show is. There's a reason why he's closing in on a million subscribers already. Yeah, he's been putting in the work for a long time on YouTube, but his growth has been just exponential through the past year and it's like he has a million subscribers for a reason people call into his show for a reason his depiction of the show was disingenuous at best because that was a it's like has dj envy ever watched the broadcast listening listening from his representation of what kevin samuels does he has not watched a single broadcast he's listened to his wife or his girls in his ears or whatever i don't know what he listened to but really and truly, that sounds like the general person that calls into Kevin Samuels and never heard his broadcast and heard his rhetoric from their girlfriends that don't want to take accountability for their actions. That's what it sounds like. The who hurts you, he's this, he's that. They haven't said anything about his with his actual arguments and what he actually says. They're nitpicking and cherry picking these little random, oh, he rates people, but they don't even know the process of what they're going through. He didn't watch a single broadcast. Stupid. And it's like... I don't understand why these people are getting in the way of progress. There's too many of these like, okay, DJ envy, Charlemagne and these guys, the breakfast club been big for a while, been like the number one, uh, podcast or radio, whatever, just the number one spot in the culture for a while, but they've been lying for a long time with their chest out. And they don't even care. That whole black men don't cheat shit for the longest. They've been lying to women. They've been, they, they, women are tired of being lied to and getting terrible results. That's why they're at Kevin Samuels and certain of these other uh, Manosphere podcasts that are growing exponentially because women want the truth. Men are trying to get results. Women are trying to get results. They want the truth. They want real discussions, not this radio bullshit that's been going on for so long. This uh, pandering. Because the Breakfast Club, they, they got to a point where they went so far liberal cuck pander mode where DJ Envy's all the way in his beta bag. And it's like... Get a job, nigger. <laughs> he and Charlemagne and them, they, they get into this super cap pander mode to their audience where they pander to black women, they pander to gays, they pander to all these people. And it's like when he says that someone must have heard him and like uh, the, the shit, the, the, the shots that he took, it's just like, where is all this coming from? You see a black man ascending 
in his in his respective field that's not really clashing with you he's not there's they're not even competition so it's they're not even in direct competition so when i'm like why is he why are these people hating like i understand when i see the stream certain men in the black manosphere that were pretty much hating on kevin samuels because he ascended to a place that they didn't while they felt like they were working for a long time and they they said that he was cherry picking their talking points and just basically hating because they didn't get the spotlight they didn't get the shine and i'm looking at that and i'm like what is what is the point of all this for for the girl that called him okay the girl called in gave the man the donkey of the day but dj envy didn't have to go on for a minute and try to drag kevin samuels with no insight and no real perspective to what he does because everything he said was just the naysayers talking points that you hear all the time the only thing that he left out and he didn't try to do is try to call him gay and shame him, like, shame him like that. Because that's the only thing short of what you generally hear when people try to combat and go at Kevin Samuels. Because at the end of the day, it's like, why do people try to get in the way of things that are working? If this is progress for the community, progress for black relationships, why get in the, why get in the way? Because you're not a part of it? Because you're not the savior leading the fucking ship? It's like stay in your lane. Silence. Too much people are stepping out of their lane. Dr. Umar Johnson stepped out of his lane. You're you're a child psychologist. You're trying to work on the black boys. You gave up on black men, but then you want to shoot down all the black men that are trying to do the work. Stay out of the if way. You don't get that bullshit out of my face, bitch. DJ Envy, you're you're a radio host. Uh DJ. You do pop culture, hip hop topics. Although Kevin Samuels has ascended to the point where he's mainstream trending pop culture trying to shoot him down like that that's just that's, that's pathetic i see too much of this like even charlemagne when charlemagne was talking like like i fucks with the breakfast club i don't want people to get this all twisted or whatever but they've been in their beta bag let's be real charlemagne was hating on joe budden all through joe budden's ascension and then when people say, oh, bring up this whole uh, Joe Budden thing where Charlemagne called out um, Joe Budden and said, oh, J uh, Charlemagne called this back then. What Charlemagne was doing was putting out negative hate and ass energy. Joe Budden is not the reason why the podcast went to shit, but I'm going to get into that a little later. Let's get into the Charlemagne's clip.